Hello, this is the Saboteur coming at you from Hillbilly Gaming. Playing Fallout 4 for y'all folks. I'm going to show y'all how to mod your weapons at a, at a weapon workbench. But first we're starting off at the chemistry station where you can build hand grenades, uh, cocktails, all kinds of good things. But you got to have the materials to build it. I'm going through here seeing what I got. I'm missing a lot of materials so I can't build no freaking hand grenades and stuff. I'm out here on a war zone. I found this chemistry set. I got this giant bear, deformed bear chasing me. So I stopped in here real quick to make me something up. I can make some cocktails. I got enough ingredients to make cocktails. You can uh, push triangle to tag search for what you lack for the other things. But I got enough to make me some cocktails. So I'm gonna get them together. Maybe throw a couple cocktails at the bear which while I'm shooting him, he'll die. All right, now we're coming over to the workbench or the workshop the workshop you can do everything from build uh, walls fencing you can plant your garden by having uh, if you harvest stuff you can come back there go to resources then you can go out and plant your own garden and then go out and uh, scrap wood and stuff to put up your fences right now I built me some sentry guns some machine guns I'm setting them up I've already got three or four out and if you're gonna be in a community you gotta have protection so you gotta build you some sentry guns to set around the place you got to use the workshop to build fence to go around your community. So, I mean, the workshop comes in very handy for building, gardening, and creating your weaponry for uh, the fence. All right, now we're going to move over to the weapons workbench. We're looking around here still a little, a little bit here. So, now we're going to move over to the weapons workbench. There's my dog, Fido. They call him uh, dog meat, but I call him Fido. I got to back out of the other one and come into this one. So I'm coming over here to look and see what I what I can do over here. Well, there ain't much I can do. I'm looking around. I'm needing a lot of stuff. I ended up putting a side on my gun, on my pistol. But now I went back and traded because I needed screws and I needed duct tape to be able to do anything at the weapons workstation. So they get to you when you went and barter. My lady gets on to me because every time I go trade, I come home naked after the trade. I trade right down to the clothes I'm wearing to get what I want. I went and traded for, for a shipment of screws, 25 screws, and, and three or four rows of duct tape. I already had three or, three or four rows of duct tape. So now we're going to see if we can't build us a sniper rifle at our weapons workbench. So we used our chemistry station to make a, lock, uh, a cocktail explosive out of a, uh, you use like bottles of whiskey and wine and stuff to make those, or whiskey. So now we're back and we went to our workbench, made us some sentry guns. I made a garden and some fenced around it and stuff, but I didn't want to put all that in the video because it'd be too long. But now we're at the workbench. So right there's that gun I modded out, that pistol. I put that uh, uh, side on top of, you can see it there. So now I went to the back to the workshop because I've been storing stuff. You can uh, transfer all your stuff and, and keep them at the benches. So when you need it, you can come back and get it out of one bench and take it to another one to work. There's the pistol that I got that I'd modded already. I got another copy. You can see the knife there that I modded at my workstation. There's the pistol. I put the reflex side on top or the optic side on top. So now I'm going through here. I'm going to build me a sniper rifle. I went and traded for screws. I got me some adhesive, which is duct tape. So now I'm going to go build me a sniper rifle. I'm going to use my uh, short single shot rifle which has got the, some badass power so I'm going to turn it into a badass little sniper rifle so I went and got all my screws I, it cost me everything I had to get them screws plus my clothes so I came home naked I ain't got no clothes to wear but I'm going to have me a damn sniper rifle that's for sure so first I put the sniper side on and then it's, you can see it on top there now I'm putting me on a long barrel and I, I went through all my tape. I had six rows of duct tape or seven rows of duct tape, maybe more, and 25 screws. But I still got a shitload of screws left. I need more adhesive, which is duct tape. So I need to come up with some more duct tape to be able to put the stock on I want. I'm going through the stocks right there. That's the one I wanted. So I got to go get some more duct tape, and I'm going to come back and put a stock on my gun and put a larger magazine on my gun. And I ain't even freaking got bullets. I think I ended up trading my freaking bullets for the gun I was going to fix. So, but that's nothing. I got a lot more stuff to trade. And I'm going to go back and barter around and make some more trades. So I can come back and put a larger magazine and a larger stock on this gun. I'm going to have me a badass sniper rifle. But those lady bitches, every time I go barter and trade, I come home naked. And you can see me standing there at the workbench working naked as hell. All I got left right there every time I go trade is my underwear. But you'll find out when you go making trades 
that their trades ain't that good. You gotta give. They don't give you the price of what they're selling it for. But that's the way it is in real life. You go to pawn shop. You pawn something for fifty dollars. They sell it for two hundred. Same thing when you go barter. All right, I'm setting myself up now. Looking through my inventory, trying to find me some clothes to wear there. I got no apparel left. I still got my suit of armor over there, but my my uh, power core is dead, so I can't really wear that. So I'm looking through my guns. I'm going to check out my sniper rifle. There's a knife that I modded out, or, or brass knucks that I put spikes and knives out on the side. Now we're going to check out my sniper rifle. I went and built it, so now I'm going to go out here and see how it looks. All right, I'm out here checking it out. You lose your sight. I'm freaking out there a little bit. Ah, right, there you, there you go. But I can't shoot that some bitch and bust it for you because I traded all my bullets to make it. <laughs> but over there is my Metal Gear sight, and all these things are the same. You got to scrap and collect shit along the way to build to have stuff to build. But it's simple to build once you get there. Just follow the directions it gives you. This is Saboteur from Hillbilly Gaming, showing you how to mod your weapons. Thanks for watching, guys.